Unless you want to get smoked every single day at basic training, these are the things never to do near a drill sergeant. What is up guys, I'm Ben Allen, welcome back to the channel, and for those of you that are new and barely tuning in, uh, a little bit about me, I'm a former sergeant in the United States Army, I got out as a 68 Whiskey combat medic, uh, recently just got out of active duty service, and now I'm bringing y'all informative uh, military videos guys. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about the things never to do near a drill sergeant, right? You have the simple ones, the ones you may already know, like don't lie to them, you know, don't disagree, don't say sorry, don't call them sir or ma'am. But this is going to be going a little more in depth, guys. We're going to be talking about some things you may not even know will get you smoked in basic training, right? So jumping straight into it, right? Number one is do not look distracted. Drill sergeants hate it when you don't give them their undiv your undivided attention. Like for example, we had this one guy in my platoon, right, and we were in a formation, and he's just staring like at a flock of birds, and they were just there. And then the drill sergeant saw him like not listening to him when he was talking. So he's like, "Hey, private, what are you doing?" He's like, "You're not paying attention. I'm just invisible or what?" And he's like, "Oh, no, drill sergeant, I was just looking over the birds." And then he's like, "Oh, okay, you want you want to go play with the birds?" It's like, "Go chase them." And so like he made this guy chase them literally like all the way like a couple hundred yards or meters until like they were just like in the distance. He's like, all right, private, come back. And then he came back, he's like, you still want to look at birds? And he's like, oh, no, Joe Sarn, I'm good. He made him run like forever just to go get those birds that he was staring at away, right? So that's one. Don't seem distracted in front of your drill sergeants. Give them your undivided attention, guys. Like they're there for a reason, they're trying to train you. Pay attention to what they are telling you, okay? Guys, the next one is do not impersonate your drill sergeant. Trust me, you may not think like it's a big deal right now, like, oh, I wouldn't do that. But once you get a little comfortable in basic training, guys, you're gonna be wanting to impersonate drill sergeants. There's gonna be that one guy, he's like, oh, well, you know, I'm drill sergeant so and so, so, uh, you know, do this, do that. And dude, we had one guy doing that. Like he was impersonating the drill sergeants and they walked in on his impersonation and he was, the drill sergeant was just standing there just looking at him like, no, no, keep going, keep going. Like, it's good, it's good. And then he, he kept going. And because um, he was scared, right? He thought if he stopped, he was gonna get smoked. And so like, I could tell the drill sergeant wanted to laugh, but like, uh, he was just like, no. Like, so he made him start smoking. And then all the people that were around him started smoking those guys too. So don't impersonate your drill sergeants, guys. That is a one-way ticket to Smokeville, all right? So don't do it, bad time. So the next one, I don't really think you guys will do it, but one of my buddies in basic training did. and. He was kind of like forced into it, right? The drill sergeants were just like having a fuck around day with us. And it was like at mail call and uh, our senior drill sergeant was like, oh, has anybody seen my campaign hat? You know, the drill sergeant hat they wear. And uh, they were like, no, no, uh, nobody's seen it. And then uh, I was like, everybody check your lockers. And so we're checking our lockers, right? It's not in there. And this one guy, I forgot his name. Well, actually I do remember his name, but I'm not gonna tell you guys, I'm just not gonna name drop. And uh, he goes to his locker and he's like, uh, drill sergeant, uh, it's in my locker. And drill sergeant's like, oh, well, bring it to me. Like, come on, just bring me my hat. And then we're all like, no, don't do it, don't do it. You're not, because we're not, you're not allowed to touch those hats. Like, they get pissed. And so we're like, don't do it, don't do it. He's like, give me my hat, private. And so fucking, he picks it up. Right? As soon as he lays a finger on it, the drill sergeant like sprints up to him. He's like, what the fuck are you doing touching my hat? Oh, put it down, put it down. And then like, get down. Like, make, start making them do push ups, bro. Like, they play those mind games with you guys. They're just fucking around. But so number one tip, do not touch their drill sergeant hats, right? The campaign hats that they wear. No go, not a good time. So yeah. All right guys, next one is never smile while other people are getting smoked or while, you know, during shark attack or at jokes, right? So don't show any like form of like happiness or laughter or, you know, things like that. Like it is not a good time, right? Because if they see you smiling at other people getting smoked and be like, oh, well, why don't you join them? Or if they see you like smiling during shark attack, like personal story, I was smiling during shark attack because it reminded me of football class and I was like, wow, football like really prepared me for getting smoked. Like this is really not that bad. And they maybe they started smoking me because I was smiling. So, or if you're laughing at jokes around them, they're gonna be like, oh, uh, what's so funny, right? And like say it's like not a really good joke that a lot of people should hear and they're gonna make you say it's like, no, no, tell us, what, wh why are you laughing? What's up? Like, come on, tell us. And it, you do not wanna be put in that situation, guys. It's very awkward. And if you don't tell them, you're gonna be like, okay, now you're just like saying fuck me, right? And they're gonna smoke you, guys. So 
don't like laugh around the drill sergeants, don't like joke around around the drill sergeants, you know, just game face, serious, ready to go, train, and do all of that stuff, all right? This next one is a pretty big one because this will get you fucked up in the regular army as well. Never, guys, and for, for the love of God, please, please never misplace your rifle, like, at all, guys. Like, always have, like, accountability of it. Always have eyes and, like, you know, within arm's length of your rifle, guys. Because they, the drill sergeant see you just laying around, they're going to take that shit and they're going to make you work for it. Or if you're out of range and you misplay it, mis misplace it, they're going to make you guys walk around the entire range until you find it. You're going to be getting smoked while you're looking for it. Guys, this is probably very, very, this will be a very brutal smoking if you misplace your rifle. So, please, again, do not misplace your rifle, all right? So this next one I've also seen happen because like, it's gonna be like maybe like week three, four, five, you know, like somewhere in the middle of basic, you're gonna be getting a little comfortable, right? You're gonna be like, okay, well, you know what? You know, they're not they're not as like yelly as they used to be. They're not like smoking us as much, you know? So you're gonna be thinking like, oh, it's not that bad, all right? And so you're gonna be going to the defect, right? And from day one, they tell you do not take anything from the defect, right? Like we weren't even allowed to get cookies or ice cream or anything like that until like the final week of basic training once we had earned it. And um, so yeah, like the temptation gets real guys for some people. And I, I think it was like week five, we had like one dude bring those grandma's cookies uh, back to the barracks and uh, the drill sergeant found the wrapper and he just lined us all up toe to toe. He's like, all right, who brought this in here? And like, nobody's gonna rat, right? And then like, so the guy came forward and he's like, all right, I'm gonna smoke everybody else while you sit here and eat this cookie. So he had brought him another pack and made him eat the cookie, guys, in front of us while all of us were getting smoked for something he did. So that's not a good time. That's one way ticket to like getting hated on in basic training. If you get somebody else smoked because of what you did, guys, not a good time. So do not bring stuff back from the defect, right? Or contraband in general. Don't take the candy from the MREs. Don't, you know, don't have stuff in your lockers or in the barracks that you're not supposed to, right? You can try and prison hide that shit, but they're gonna find it, guys. Most of the time, they're going to find it, all right? So. Do not bring stuff back to the barracks. All right guys, so these next two that I'm gonna list off pretty much go like hand in hand, right? Cause they have to do with like the uniform. So first, do not get caught with your hands in your pockets, right? Depending on where you go to basic training, it might be a little cold, right? You're gonna wanna warm up your hands. You're not gonna have your gloves cause maybe you forgot them or something. Don't forget your gloves. Uh, uh, but yeah, you're going to be putting your hands in your pockets, you know, and if a drill sergeant sees that, they're going to be on you like white on a rice, guys, I swear. Like, like everybody wants to do it. I'm, I'm guilty of doing that, even in the regular army. And they're like, oh, okay, why do you have your hands in your pocket? What does the reg say? You're not allowed to do that, right? And so just do not get caught with your hands in your pocket, guys. It's very minor, but they will pick up on it and they will smoke you, guys. They will say, oh, you're, you're cold? Okay, we'll warm you up real quick, you know, and they'll, make, they'll smoke you. And then next one with the uniformers, right? Uh, do not get caught outside without your cover, right? Your PC, guys. I remember this one girl, because we were coming out the defect, and literally as soon as she stepped out, like she didn't have it on, the drill sergeants were like, why isn't your PC on? Like they just swarmed her guys, they were just like, like barking at her face, like going crazy. So make sure you have your cover on before you get outside. So like when you're like throwing your trays away at the defect or you're leaving a building, stop at the door, take that moment, Pull your PC out, put it on, and then step outside. That way you won't get smoked by the drill sergeants for being out of uniform, right? Technically. But yeah, so we got a few more, right? So the next one is kind of like a mental thing, but uh, never let the drill sergeants hear you say, or never say around them, that you can't do something, right? Because you gotta get the word can't out of your vocabulary. Because if you go to a drill sergeant and you're like, oh, I can't do that drill sergeant, or you're telling somebody like the PG or something like, oh, I can't do that. The, and the drill starts hear that, bro, they're gonna be on you and they're gonna be saying, like, oh, why can't you do that? No, you know, you know, let's take this time to make sure you can do that. And so whatever you don't think you can do, whether you can't do push-ups, you can't do sit-ups, they're gonna be smoking you until you can or until you get a little stronger for the next time and then you can. So do not say can't, right? Don't say, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. Get that word out of your vocabulary right now. That'll save you a lot of push-ups in basic training, guys, trust me. I've seen it happen, like it's not a good time. All right guys, so the next one is do not get caught trading shifts on fire guard. So you're gonna have fire guard, right? It's pretty much where you stay up for uh, certain hours of the night to like watch the building while everybody sleeps and like it doesn't burn down or things like that or just nothing like suspicious going on, nobody's stealing things, right? So it's shifts. 
So you might like get a shift at like three in the morning and another guy has it at like maybe like, you know, nine o'clock that night, right? So you're like, oh, you know, I want that shift. Like, hey, do you mind switching me? They're like, yeah, sure. Don't get caught, guys, because those drill sergeants put the roster out for a reason. They don't want people switching, right? Some may not care, but others, I know ours, they care. They were like, nope, like, okay, you guys want to switch? All right, cool. We're gonna we're gonna put both of you guys on the same shift, right? So they had the dude, the two dudes that switch on the same shift, guys, and they smoked them while they were on that shift. He was like, all right, you're gonna watch the desk while I smoke him. Then we're gonna switch. So. They had some fun, guys, but do not get caught switching. It's not a good time. And the last one also has to do with fire guard, guys. Uh, I'm not going to say this is like the most important thing not to do. This is just like something I would recommend you not do. But uh, honestly, it's pretty bad. So do not get caught sleeping on fire guard, guys. This was not fun for anybody. Like, it was just bad. Like, there was two dudes on fire guard at a time, right? And you know, both of them were asleep. The drill sergeant walked in to do his checks and he was like, oh shit. He was like, nope. Turned on the lights, woke everybody up. He was like asking us who were asleep, like, why do I have two guys sleeping on fire guard? We're like, we don't know, we were sleeping. He's like, okay, no, since they want to be sleeping on fire guard, nobody wants to be on the desk, everybody's gonna be on the desk. So they made everybody sit at the fire guard desk for like a few nights in a row, guys. Like every hour they'd have like half the platoon you know on the desk the other were allowed to sleep and then we'd switch and then it was just dumb it was way more hassle than we needed to you guys and it was just not good i remember the it wasn't even our drill sergeant that caught us doing that it was like the second platoon drill sergeant and you know there's that rivalry between between platoons and so he just smoked us for like a good hour and a half two hours he made us do changing drills like it was just not a good time at all like he was like okay uh go put uh summer pts on with uh green socks and your acu top and we're like god damn so we're like tearing apart our lockers we're like ch changing as fast as we can he's giving us like time hacks to do it in Oh god, that was probably the stupidest smoking we've ever got, guys. It was not cool. And if we didn't do fast enough, he'd smoke us again. Um, yeah, and just a little extra tip, guys. They're gonna give you on this little cheat sheet, right? It's gonna have like information on there, like your chain of command, soldier's creed, things like that. And uh, I highly recommend that you study that card. You learn that card like the back of your hand, guys. Literally, because the way they did it with us is they would ask us questions off of that cheat sheet, and if we got it wrong, five push-ups. So our drill sergeants every night would line us up like in our bay, like the whole platoon, and he'd go down the line. He's like, "What's your first general order?" Oh, don't know it. Cool, five push-ups, everybody. It's like, "Who's the division commander?" Oh, don't know it. Cool, five push-ups, everybody. Guys, it is. That was dumb, guys. We did easily like 500 some, or if not more, push-ups that day. So please, please, please learn the information they give you. Uh, yeah, guys, for this video, that's pretty much it. Those are just things. Those are things never to do or say around a drill sergeant, right? They're guaranteed to get you fucked up and smoked. And if not you, your battle buddies fucked up and smoked at basic training. Not a good time, guys. I highly recommend you take this video to heart and you apply it to your basic training experience once you get there. I promise you it'll go a long way. It'll help you out tremendously. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this basic training video, this little drill sergeant video, let me know down in the comment section below. And if I've missed something and you know, you've gone through basic training already, comment down what else they should not do or say to a drill sergeant in the comment section below, guys. Let's help these guys out, you know? And uh, if you want more videos like this, let me know. But for now, just give this video, video a big thumbs up, uh, a comment, you know, just whatever you want, and subscribe, guys. Subscribe if you are not to this channel, guys. It's good information, it helps you out, it's valuable. And uh, yeah, you know, show some love. Subscribe to the channel, it helps us out. We can reach a bigger audience once we do that. And also, guys, if you want to reach me on Instagram, Ben underscore Allen 175. That's my username. That's the best possible place to reach me, guys. I answer all of my DMs on there. No question goes unanswered. It's the best place to reach me. I guarantee you that. But uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Later.